Hello, this is Dark Knight Apologetics. I am your host, Jeremy Knight. Please watch the entire video. Don't forget to like the video and enjoy the show. Okay. Hello. This is part three of my Enoch series that I'm connecting with Flat Earth. I am sorry that this part has taken so long to get out. Life got in the way. It just wasn't looking like I was going to get it out as quickly as I thought I was going to get it out. But I think I, I finally sat down and worked out a plan for her, what's going to be in this video. Anyways, this is part three of my Enoch series, Connecting to Flat Earth. Um, the plans have changed a little bit. I am now going to try to get a hold, I'm now going to try to get a hold of a hard copy of the Book of Enoch. I already own a digital copy, but I want to get a hold of a hard copy. So that I can actually hold in my hands. And I want to also expand this to start including other uh, books from the Deutero canon and other apocryphal books. But, yeah, those are that's how the plans have changed, okay? Again, sorry that it took me so long to get this video out, okay? Okay. This is part three of how the Book of Enoch connects to the Flat Earthers. From what I understand, the Flat Earthers only read this book because most Christians have not read it. And that's why I want them to stop, because it's not considered part of the Bible. It's considered to be Apocrypha. It isn't even included in the Deuterocanon. Both the Catholic Church and the Protestant Church, and I think most of the Orthodox Church, considers the Book of Enoch to be apocryphal. They, they consider it to, to be non-canonical, and they don't read it. I think there's some cults of Judaism that read the Book of Enoch, but... For the most part, it is considered to be apocryphal. The book of Enoch is not part of the Bible, and this is why the Flat Earthers need to stop reading it. They are only reading it to manipulate it, just like they read the Bible. They, they only read it to manipulate it, to force it into their false narrative. The earth is not flat, it is a globe. Okay? Okay. In the description of this video will be links to the previous two videos in this series. If you haven't seen those videos, I suggest you go watch them. Okay? Okay. In my last video, on this topic, I was talking about something I mistakenly called theological fiction. That was because I didn't know the correct name for it. But I've done some research since then, and I didn't know the correct name for it back then, but I've learned the correct name for it now. The correct name for what I was thinking of is not theological fiction. 
No, the correct name for what I was thinking of is Pseudepigrapha. Pseudepigrapha are falsely attributed works, texts, who claimed authors, who claimed author is not the true author, or work whose real author attributed it attributed it to a figure from the past. What this basically means is that the work was written by someone else and then accredited to a different person. This happened with the Book of Enoch. It was, the book was written by one person, but then it was accredited to Enoch. Enoch is not the real author of the Book of Enoch. Okay? That's what I was thinking of when I was saying theological fiction. I was thinking of pseudepigrapha. Okay? I just didn't know the word for it back then. But I, I've done the research and I've pieced together the word for it. It's pseudepigrapha. Okay? Okay. I'll do some more research and add that into the video too, okay? Okay, so the new word we've learned is pseudepigrapha. That's what the Book of Enoch is, it's pseudepigrapha, okay? That's a new word that we've learned. Okay, the other thing I wanted to talk about was a book that has been lost to history. We only know about it from uh, surviving fragments of it. Fragments of this book have survived, but the book for the most part has been lost to history. The Book of Enoch is sometimes referred to as First Enoch. And this is because there are two other books that were attributed to Enoch that we know of by surviving fragments, but they were mostly lost to history. And that was Second Enoch and Third Enoch. But that's why the Book of Enoch is sometimes referred to as First Enoch. But the Pseudepigrapha Book of Enoch is the only Book of Enoch that has survived to the modern day. The other two were, for the most part, lost to history with a few surviving fragments of them. Now there's another book that was also lost to history for the most part with a few surviving fragments that, it, that has been jammed into the Book of Enoch over time. And that is the Book of Noah. The Book of Noah has been has been jammed into what we today know as the modern book, the modern pseudepigrapha of Enoch. Fragments of the Book of Noah survived to the modern day, and those fragments were then added to the pseudepigrapha of Enoch. Okay? That's what I've learned from my research. Okay. Okay. I thought it would be wise to do more research on why the Book of Enoch is not canon. So I did more research on why the Pseudepigrapha of uh, 
Book of Enoch is not in the Bible. The Book of Enoch is not in the Bible, and that's why the Flat Earthers should stop reading it, because it's not part of the Bible. But, I did more research as to why the Book of Enoch is not part of the Bible. I looked at Wikipedia. And according to Wikipedia, there are some uh, cults of Judaism that do consider the Book of Enoch to be canon. But, for the most part, Christians do not consider the Book of Enoch to be canon. It says so right here in this paragraph. But if we scroll down to canonicity, you'll see that the Jews do not consider it to be canon. The Christians do not consider it to be canon. And it's mostly only been preserved out of curiosity. So, the pseudepigraphum of uh, Enoch is not canon. Pseudepigrapha is the plural, whereas pseudepigraphum is the singular. But, yeah. Enoch is considered pseudepigrapha, which I've already told you what that means. And Enoch is not canon because it's considered to not be inspired. And it's basically just not canon. I also did more research in outside of Wikipedia because Wikipedia is not always the most trustworthy source. So I did some more research outside of Wikipedia to see why Enoch is not canon. Why this wonderful book is not in the Bible. Basically, the reason seems to be that it was never called scripture. It was never referred to as scripture. And there are even some doubts of to of to whether or not the quote that Jude is said to have quoted from actually came from the Book of Enoch. But yeah, these two sources will be in the description. So that you can read them for yourselves, because I'm not going to read the entirety of these sources. Okay. But yeah, that's why it's not canon, because it's not considered to be inspired, and it's considered to be not scripture. Okay. That is why it's not in the Bible. So, flat earthers, stop reading it. The Book of Enoch is not in the Bible. Stop treating it like it's scripture because it isn't scripture. Okay? Okay. And remember, the plans have changed and I'm extending this series to include other uh, apocryphal books, 
as well as other books from the Deutero canon. And I'm going to try to get a hold of a hard copy of the Book of Enoch so that I can read it and maybe figure out why the Flat Earthers like it so much. But anyways, it's not in the Bible, so stop reading from it, okay? And these two sources will be in the description, okay? Okay. Don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe, and ring the bell. And also, don't forget to follow me on Twitter and join my Discord. Links to Twitter and Discord will be in the description. This is the Dark Knight Apologist, and I just wanted to say, see you next time.